is Margaret. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'm here to give you my November TBR, my to be read pile, or my pile à lire, my pal, or to be read in French. I love how that sounds. Pile à lire. Actually, I just saw today that Kazen at Always Doing calls it the pile of possibilities, which is kind of a mix because pile is pile in French and um, it also is a little more forgiving in terms of success for your goals for reading for the month. So let's adopt that, shall we? It's a pile of possibilities. Taking stock of my October and how that went, I feel like I'm going to scale it back a book. So instead of seven, it's going to be six. Yeah, six with one bonus. So let me take you through my two, my... <laughs> pile of possibilities for November because there's several goals going on here. My first responsibility is going to be to the people that I asked to buddy read with me because I don't want to let people down, right? So we have The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert and I'll be reading this with Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. I have to finish this before I record it and I head down to California mid-month in November so this should be an interesting one. I've seen mixed reviews, but I think I'm still gonna like it. I'm pretty open to it. I love the cover and I love her stuff on social media, so I'm I'm excited. The second book I'm buddy reading with someone is Carrie at Caring About Books, and uh, we agreed to do Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope because it was on both of our two read lists on Goodreads. However, Mine comes in this um, this compendium of three novels, and when I started talking about Barchester Towers to people, I commented on Katie books and things, said you really should read The Warden because if you don't, then it'll be spoiled going forward. So I'm going to read Barchester Towers with Carrie, but also before that, I checked out The Warden from the library. So Hazelwood and The Warden will be priorities at the beginning of the month because I need to return them to the library before I leave the area. <laughs> before I skedaddle to California. The second goal that I'm working toward, besides Buddy Reads, is Indigathon. So I definitely saw this over a month ago and forgot about it because there have been so many videos and things and tasks going on. Brody at et to Brody and Nichelle at Thor Wants Another Letter are two great indigenous creators on YouTube and they have a bingo card which I'll flash up over here and I had prepared for at least a couple of reads from this on my story graph which is kind of like Goodreads but it's a new version that's supposed to be a whole lot better and run by better people than Amazon, so go check it out. There's a beta version out called beta.storygraph.com, so definitely sign up, find me there. But yeah, they have a native challenge, a native reads challenge as well. Anyway, lots of things going off for native voices, and the Indigathon, I have two that are going to fit, and one is the book by a non-Five Civilized Tribes read. I think it's the prompt that it satisfies. And I got it from the library. It's called Under Nishagak Bluff by Mia Hevener. She is an Alaskan writer. Should be good. I think it's a middle grade. I think it's a younger, aimed, aimed at younger ages. But that should be good for me because there's a lot going on this month. The second book is a Double Dip, so this is going to be a nonfiction for Indigathon as well as nonfiction November. Readathon. So let's see. Killers of the Flower Moon by David Gran. In the 1920s, the richest people per capita in the world were members of the Osage Nation in Oklahoma. After oil was discovered beneath their land, they rode in chauffeured cars and lived in mansions. Then, one by one, the Osage began to be killed. <sighs> the case was taken up by the newly created FBI and its young director, J. Edgar Hoover. So I don't know about this case at all. I've heard tons of good things about the book's investigation of this. And I'm very much looking forward to this because then I will also finally get to watch uh, Native Lady Book Warriors video with the spoilers, <laughs> which I got on my to watch list for like two months. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The other book I have for nonfiction November. So there's two for Indigathon and two for nonfiction. 
um, is Sister Outsider by Audre Lorde, and this is a collection of essays by this black intersectional feminist creator that uh, has been recommended to me by a dear friend who um, used to be my boss. <laughs> so I wanted somewhere to start with Audre Lorde, and this is what was recommended. So I'm finally getting around to this. Uh, I forgot to mention all of the sources of my books. I don't know if I need to do that going forward, but just in case I decide in editing that I do, this was new. I bought it. Support the creator. The shoes on my feet, I bought. The clothes I'm wearing, I bought. The rock I'm rocking. This was used. I bought it. I bought it from Backstory Books. Library book. Library book. Oh, got so long ago, I don't remember. Oh, yep, got it from another read through. Library book. Yes. And then my bonus is should be an easy one. So I started but haven't finished Savagery by JC Mehta. She's a local poet. And so I got this new at her reading at another read through last year. And I think November would be a great day to read that. So, um, yes, that is my November hopeful list. And in a few days, I will be uploading at the last possible moment, I will be sharing with you how I did in October. When I did the mid month check in, I told you that there was some unofficial stuff coming in and why I was going to change the name of the mid-month check-in to unofficial book creep because when you start out with an official list obviously it's going to be overrun by the books you wanted to read that's what happens to a mood reader so you'll get to experience the surprise after I did and that's that's bean cat so hopefully I will keep checking out other people's November TBR videos, jump into these communities that are ser searching out a special kinds of books, and yeah, have fun with the buddy reads. I'll be announcing them in future videos, so don't worry, I will remind you about the 14th and the 22nd. There's also a book birthday coming up next month. I'll have to drop something for that too. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do anything to show what you're thinking about my choices, and you'll hear about my progress in October in the next video. Thanks again.